just because you want to be Bloodsport doesn't mean you are Bloodsport. Hey everybody, what's going on today? We're going to be talking about a Jean-Claude Van Damme movie I don't like. Today we're talking about Kickboxer. You know, I'm a fan of Jean-Claude Van Damme, but he's very hit and miss with me. When he hits, he really hits. When he misses, boy does he really miss. Uh, For every uh, JCVD and for every Bloodsport, you get a double team or, uh, well, you get this movie. Uh... (laughs) Okay, uh, there will be spoilers in this. Um, I'll just put it this way. Yes, this is free on Amazon. Just rent or buy Bloodsport instead. This movie tries to be Bloodsport. It's not. Uh, This movie came out like the year after Bloodsport, and they were just trying to to find the, the same tone. But boy, what Bloodsport does right, this one does way wrong. Uh, what you have is you have a couple of brothers that, uh, the brother that is, that is not Van Damme is, uh, a kickboxing champion and he is really, really good in America. Uh, but he hears about, uh, well, he's, be, he's being told you should go to Thailand and, and take on their guys. Well, he goes to Thailand and, uh, he doesn't know Muay Thai and gets his butt handed to him and gets crippled. Uh, this sends Jean-Claude Van Damme, who is a fighter in his own right, uh, to want to challenge the guy that crippled him. Uh, kind of sounds familiar, a little like Bloodsport in a way, even though they were both in a tournament and everything. Uh, he wants to take revenge on this guy. So, uh, through, a, he tries to go find someone to train him, he can't. He runs into, uh, this guy that knows a guy that can train him. So he takes him to the guy that can train him. Uh, and long story short, he eventually trains him so he can take on, uh, the guy that crippled his brother, but wait, there's more. Um, there's also, uh, there's these, these like bad guys that basically run, uh, or they, they, I want to say he manages the, the final kickboxer, uh, and then he has a boss and they're up to some shady stuff. You have uh, kidnappings and and uh, and a rape and a dog getting stabbed, uh, all to uh, take Jean Claude Van Damme off his game. But this stuff settles itself, and then he's able to win in the end. Uh, look, what this movie does wrong that Bloodsport did right is Bloodsport found a, a very good balance between the training session and the learning from the master session to the fighting part of the movie. This movie takes so much time to train Van Damme's character. He only fights, well, technically three times, but he fights uh, a guy in the ring. He challenges the champion. Uh, he, you know, he fights uh, in a bar uh, after getting drunk, and he fights the main bad guy. That's it. Um, and none of the fights, you know, they made a big deal that these fights were choreographed by, by Van Damme. And I'm sorry, the fights aren't that good. Um, they're, look, the, the stuff that does work is stuff you saw in Bloodsport. And I'll get to that in a minute. But the fights are boring. The training takes forever. There's some neat stuff they do in the training, but it's stuff you've seen. Oh, the, they get a, you know, test his you know, how, you know, test his core, like strength, strengthen up his core by hitting him there a bunch of times. It was in blood sport. Uh, they going to try to raise his flexibility by stretching out his legs. And so he can do his, uh, his famous splits. It was in blood sport. Uh, they're just, all the stuff is there. He's really, really bad at it. And somehow in a short amount of time, well, short in this movie, short, but the time they take for him to learn all this stuff, he, you know, he finally gets good at it, just like in Bloodsport. His, you know, brother getting injured, his friend getting injured. Uh, you know, there's the comparison there for Bloodsport. Uh, you know, taking on the main bad guy who hurt his friend slash brother. It was in Bloodsport. 
This movie was trying to just be a carbon copy of Bloodsport and failed miserably. Um, and here's here's the ultimate kicker for me. Um, when he finally is able to fight the last guy, um, which, by the way, they fight in the traditional rules where uh, they wrap their hands, put it in resin, and, and put broken glass on them. Uh, because, you know, back in the ancient days, they had soda bottles they could break up and and then, you know, glue to their hands to fight. Which, honestly, that would have been cool had they really used them more. The, the bad guy uses the gloves or uses the wraps, like, near the end of the fight, and that's about it. Uh, you'd think that you'd want to punch him the entire time with broken glass hands. Um, but no. Uh, but here's the kicker. When Van Damme makes his comeback... He's not even using Muay Thai. He's doing a lot of the same moves or similar moves that he did in Bloodsport. The spinning kicks, the, you know, just, just all the things that Van Damme does. The, where he carries on his, his hi you know, all that stuff that he did in Bloodsport, it's in this too. And again, somehow it's worse. It's not cool in this. It's just maybe because his character is really lame in this. And now I know you say, you know, Bloodsport, he was kind of, you know, he wasn't the greatest character either, uh, even though, I mean, he was based on a true mil- a, a true martial arts master in Frank Dukes. There's a, another story, another rabbit hole you should go down uh, about the stories about Frank Dukes. Uh, plenty of stuff that, uh, if I put any of the video here, Frank Dukes himself would probably come take it down. Because, um, boy, he's got, he's got his secrets to keep. Uh, but... That movie wasn't exactly... It was campy, but it was the right kind of campy. Uh, Bloodsport, they used uh, montages for, you know, when he was down after his friend got hurt and all that stuff and in his training and stuff like that. These montages with, with songs and everything. This movie tried to do it too. And for some reason, it's fine in Bloodsport and it's crap in this. Again, maybe because you're not as invested, you can tell that... A lot of effort wasn't put into this one. It was just like, yeah, we need another blood sport for Van Damme so we can have another hit. Um, but yeah, they they try to uh, get in his head for the the final battle, and they they kidnap his girl, and the the main bad guy fighter uh, rapes her, and uh, they attack the. Uh, they, they come to kidnap the brother and they end up stabbing the dog, which by the way, uh, the military guy that knew how to find the, uh, that knew how to find the guy to train him. Uh, he takes the dog to the vet and apparently the dog is 1000% better after getting stabbed because he was there to watch the fights. Um, but, uh, but yeah, the brother gets kidnapped, but he gets rescued. So once everything, uh, everything gets hunky dory during the fight, you know, Van Damme can fight back, and he fights back, and, and wins. Um, it never really... The movie just kind of ends after that. Uh, you know, it's like, hey, I guess that all the bad stuff that happened to us doesn't matter just because I won the fight. Hooray! But look, there is some decent ideas in this. Uh, you know, yes, I mean, they, they force everything. Again, it was stuff that was in Bloodsport. You have a the cute girl that Van Damme gets to romance. Apparently, she falls in love with him, and like whatever amount of time, uh, she's the the niece of the trainer, I believe it was. It wasn't a, it wasn't his daughter, um, but uh, you know he he gets to fall in love with her, and that's the girl that gets gets assaulted. Uh, but yeah, there's there's no there's no reason to watch this. So yeah, if you have a choice, watch Bloodsport. Do not. I repeat, do not watch this movie.